All right, so recently I did an unboxing on this uh, Sire V7 uh, in the burgundy finish, metallic burgundy finish. Uh, this is for my daughter for Christmas. This is Tuesday before Christmas, was that's 21st. But one of the things I'm gonna add to this, because I think it'll be cool and look great on this base, are the neon pink DR coated strings. So I grabbed a couple of sets of these. It'd be interesting to hear just a basic sound clip of how these sound compared to the strings that are stock on here which are, I think, the D'Addario XLs. So, yeah, this is the five-string set, the 45 through 125, so the gauge is going to be slightly different than what's on here. But, yeah, let's put them on, and uh, let's see what it sounds like and looks like. So I'm going to try to keep the strings that are on here. I'm not going to cut these. If they were older, I'd just cut them. Uh, these are brand-new strings. I hate to do that. So these can throw these in the case just as a backup in case a string gets broken, which, frankly, is lit on me from the polishing cloth I was using earlier. And frankly, with the string through uh, body bridge like this, it puts a very sharp angle on the strings as they come over the bridge saddle. And in my experience playing these type of bases, uh, or bases with this type of bridge uh, and string um, anchor point, uh, the strings are more likely to break than on a more traditional fender through uh, bridge string setup. One of the things I'm also going to do is just go ahead and pull the, the uh, string tree, string retainer off of the headstock. You can see it's just a solid string retainer that goes all the way across. Uh, so the strings actually have to go under that thing. And uh, with brand new strings, it's not too bad when they're still straight. But these are going to be all coiled up. And it's difficult to get these in and out without scratching the headstock up. And I don't want to scratch this beautiful burgundy finished uh, matching headstock so just gonna pull this off for now i mentioned in a another video i don't really love this kind of string tree because of that i think that what fender's doing with the little double round string trees works better you don't have to run the string under when you're stringing it you can just push it in from the side okay so i'm gonna change these strings one at a time and uh, we'll see how it goes strings installed Whew. wow they are pink I wish I had a black light in here. Anyway, wow, this is cool. I think she's gonna like it. It is very flashy. The initial impression of these strings, I've played these coated strings before, the DRs. They don't feel exactly like uncoated strings. I'm sure anybody out there, if you played these, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. I think you get used to them. Um, when I just picked this up compared to what was on there, which is something that all of us are more familiar with, I like the other strings better, the way they feel. But again, I think you get used to this. Uh, I think you get used to whatever you're playing. And that's what you start to like. Uh, they definitely roll a little bit more in my fingers, and I think it's because of the round cores in the string instead of the hex core that the D'Addario XLs have. So these don't feel quite as stiff. Uh, just a little bit more slinky, a little bit more rolly under your fingers. Again, something you just get used to from playing them. I think you're buying these for the color. Uh, may, do they last longer? I don't know. I've never really gigged these strings before. Uh, I have them on a base. I have one of the multicolored sets. They were on there a long time, and they, they seem to hold up just fine. So, yeah, these are pretty cool, and uh, I think it's perfect for a 16-year-old playing in a rock and roll band so let's uh let's see what they sound like <laughs> So final thoughts, 
This is a set of the Dion, uh, the DR uh, neon pink coated strings. Uh, this is uh, the gauges are 45, 65, 85, 105, and 125. I think this is what they call the medium set. You know, pretty standard gauges. I uh, see here they're made in the USA still. They offer these in a bunch of different colors. You can get them in blue and green and yellow. They have a white set, red, orange. You can get multicolor set. Ones that are red and white, maybe red, white, and blue. Different colors to see any color base or any any aesthetic style. So yeah, pretty cool strings and uh, there we go. Thanks.